Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another Subpixel live stream. I'm Ian Gibson, your host for this evening. Joining us is, as always, Will Crosby's. Uh, are you out there on the line, Will? That joke never gets old. Never gets old. Never gets old. Will, guess what we're going to be playing never today? Get... Speaking of get old, and plug mm -hmm. my headphones. Yeah, take your time uh, showing up now, uh, literally 10 seconds before the stream starts. Uh, I was here, but, you know, I was busy. Mm -hmm. Hello, mm -hmm. Karen. What do you want? Wow. Uh, that's Ian right there if you want to look at his face. No, he can't see me. Uh, Hi, Karen. Oh, uh, she wanted to show you our bag of 121 uh pizza totino pizza roll she says the size of a baby you know what That's i'm actually baby. i would love to see that if you had a webcam will i'm working on it will Ian. sif will sif crispers will sif crispers you know what i literally what I mean. spent um an hour getting this stream all set up and nice and dandy and it's just gone off the rails within 20 Perfect. seconds yeah um, i'm to blame for that to be clear i'm not putting that on you let me just uh mustache comb real quick let me just unpack this second nintendo pro controller i bought oh good for you um guess uh, what we're playing today oh i don't care i wanted to talk more about the pro controller but um, okay. we're, uh, yeah let's talk about the pro controllers playing... well i was just gonna say um no you know what? it's better to choose the game first then we can get into stories we're um, playing why am i acting like we already revealed this we're playing dreams everybody yeah we're playing dreams uh, and a uh, shout out to will who made the image um yeah i literally content aware filled your eyes close <laughs> oh really <laughs> it's terrifying oh, wait, a minute. Up close. wait a minute now i gotta look at it real quick <laughs> oh wow okay folks at home i'm gonna throw this you should be seeing that image wow that actually worked really well I didn't even notice that my eyes were closed. I Good literally job, buddy. girl sleeping. And I found some girl in bed. You know, I wasn't sure if that was a girl or not. Uh, <laughs> no, that, I don't mean that as a statement on anything. Just couldn't tell. Anyways, um, uh, we're, we're playing, playing dreams. dreams. So this I came really out. Want to play this. Yeah, this came out this morning um, at 1130 Eastern in early access. I say 1130 Eastern because they did a really weird thing where they said, hey, this game's going to come out in early access first. It's going to be 30 bucks. It gets you access to the full version of the game, even though the full version of the game isn't quite out yet. Um, but we will have limited space available. So I had to go to the PlayStation store at 1130 a.m. this morning and try and buy this game because I had no idea how limited it would actually be if they could sell out of digital copies of it uh long story short i'm in i don't know if they ever did sell out or close it but this is it um it had a really long cool tutorial sequence where uh, so just to give you an example of it i'm not going to go through it again because it, it it actually is a little long um to teach you the controls, as in like how you grab objects and move them, it takes you to a wall of doubt, and it says, you know, to start your creative journey, you first must destroy your own wall of doubt, and then it has you pull <laughs> bricks out of the wall. That's it's actually amazing. really cool. Yeah, it was cool. Okay, so this is the home space. You can add things here. I haven't added anything. I literally just got to this, and I tested one dream out and it's working so let's just uh i figure let's just go to dream surfing let's do it i think i i, I wanted to buy this but i probably won't be able to get in i kind of want to do um so they have some here so you can see they have the pt one they have a couple of these ooh. but i'm gonna go all the way over here Did i say one or two players Yeah, you can do two player stuff. You can do two player oh, stuff. Oh, this, this is game? the Bash Bush. Oi, you. What you looking at? You ever watch that All giant right. bomb stream? It's good. Uh, no. Let's watch this. Let's play this real quick. Uh, I, I have no audio, but that's okay. Oh, uh, that's your own fault. I'll just sing it to you. Oi, Bish, Bish Bash. Bash. Oh, you know what? The stream doesn't have audio either. Okay, okay, wait, wait. I'm going to do this proper. Do this proper. I'm going to back out. 
Uh, look and I'm going to give them audio. Oh. You now have audio stream. Will, let me give you audio. You now have audio, <gasps> I Will. I have audio. Is it loud? It should be like Perfect. faint. Okay. Um, well, you're bush bushing here. Yes. yes. Uh, the reason I bought a second Nintendo Pro Controller is my left Joy-Con is having drift issues when it's away from the switch. Can't you uh, send it in? Yeah, but uh, so I started playing Enter the Gungeon because it was on sale. Uh, mm -hmm. They like did a whole thing about it, its final update. And I was like, you know what? I'll finally get this game. I don't play a lot of a lot of rogue. Uh, is it rogue light or rogue like? Man, it's rogue. Who cares? Okay, so I don't play a lot of the. Are you gonna reset progress here? No, because you're talking. Oh, I, I thought you would play while I was talking. No. No. Oh. Well, no. Go anyways, ahead and finish your story. <laughs> my girlfriend Karen <coughs> enjoyed playing with a pro controller, so I just bought a second one. The how, much you, how much did you pay for it? Like it. Uh, Fifty-six dollars on Amazon. Well, wait, what did you say? Fifty-six. Oh, that's not bad. I think I got. Yeah. I think I got one for sixty after tax around Black Friday because they very rarely go down. Yeah, it's normally seventy. So yeah. I have two now, and I actually. Have. Okay. Thanks for that story. Okay. Uh, hush now. Wow, I actually, I actually only that. care about the audio in this one because of how good it sounds. All right, here we go. Wow. Ready? Extremely loud. Yes. Uh, I'm going to turn it down for the stream first because they're more important than you. Uh, Amon says drift. Yeah, it was also it was like sinking and drift issues. Oh, uh, mom. That's so it was like she would hold one direction and all of a sudden or hit a and like wouldn't roll. And for a bullet hell game. Yeah, that ain't going to work. Um, I was I I was attributing it to the fact that the switch was behind my TV, which you're not supposed to do. Um, because I haven't gotten like our media stand for our TV in our new apartment yet, and um, did you say a media so, stand? Well, I haven't gotten like the. I'm sorry. What like, did you call it? Like a media piece of furniture, whatever. Um, you mean a TV stand? Yeah, the TV stand. But all my media goes on it. Media stand. Um, no, I thought I it was sick that, issues from that. I don't think but, that counts as uh, media, though, because doesn't isn't media, like, the actual media that you consume? Whereas, uh, you're, it would be like a media player stand. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, um... Oh, oh, boy. My Pro Controller was fine, so I don't think it was sync, but I don't know. Uh, long story short, I bought a new Pro Controller. Uh, wait, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't hear that story. Could you, could you go through that story me? again? How did it end? Uh, I bought another one. So I have four now. No, buy I another one. Pro controller. Wait, you didn't tell us that. Can you tell that story all over again? Yeah, that's right, buddy. <laughs> this is Will's... This is Will's pro controller hour. <laughs> Oh, Anyways, boy. um, so I'm gonna read the, uh, oh. little warning here that's on uh. the Pro Controller, uh, here we go, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Uh, the Pro Controller is a classic grip-style wireless controller that provides an easy-to-hold extended gameplay experience. There better be a punchline at the end of this. We're playing on either TV or Or is this mode? the punchline? Because it's not good. Look on the back of the Nintendo Switch game packaging to see which games use the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Hey, do they still have the uh, secret <laughs> message? Uh, I yeah, fall? I think this is it. Um, I just fell. La manette pro est un manette sans feet. No, no, no. Do you know about the secret? Do you know about the secret message? No, I don't. Uh, if you look above the right analog stick, like underneath the plastic, right above it, it should have a special message. Uh, etched into the circuit board. Oh, I don't know if I can see that well. That's pretty good. It's a nice little uh, arena. You said above or below right? 
So it is, um, uh, if you look at the right analog stick, right analog stick. above the right analog stick, above. through the plastic on the PCB. I can't um, see anything on this one. By the way, folks, just tell me um, how the audio is, if it's getting too loud for you goobers. Uh, Hi, Klabu Gaming TV. Thanks for joining. Hello. Playing Dreams and talking about pro controllers for God knows why. We're done. We're done talking about pro controllers. Did you? Do you see it, though? I promise. No, it's not. I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. You should Google it real quick. It's actually pretty cool. They have a secret message uh, etched into the... I keep saying the PCB, the uh, the board. Oh no, this is PT, isn't it? Oh. Please hug me. Come here. Hug me, please. Aww. Oh no, this is like. Oh no, 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 no. <gasps> Do you hear his little voice? Oh, I see it now. Yeah, okay, I got a flashlight out because there's no light. Yeah, it's like smoky oh. gray. I live in total darkness. Oh no, they all died. It says, thanks all gamers. Oh, game fans. Thanks all game fans. Hey, uh, Will, while you're online, can you... Um, there is, There's supposed to be a website where you can look up dreams experiences and then... Shh, and then direct me to them i think that would be fun if you could find ones online not tell me what they are but somehow guide me to them to play them uh sure i'll gonna find that <gasps> oh my god oh, I gotta... this is so cool oh yes that last level was actually oh, yeah. this is far cry 2 i played a first person shooter earlier in this oh no Oh, phew. I think it's called like indreams.me or something like that. Indreams.me. Indreams.me. I'm just literally yeah. just typing it in. Hey, you're Thanks, right. Pabu. Um, I just sign in to PlayStation. Oh, I wonder if you have to sign in as me. Sorry, well, access denied. Oh, for your account? Yeah. Oh, that was oh so so this auto surface it, this dream surface just like oh no 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 this is the PT hallway. This is creep. Did you ever play PT? No, I've watched it a lot. It's it's real good. Actually, I was just talking to Karen the other day. I'm thinking of finally diving back into Resident Evil Seven, starting it over. Yeah, I heard that was good. This should be the bathroom. Um, because I want her to watch me play it, and I can play it every night. I remember one of the streams was trying to figure out if he had ripped this original audio or had re-recorded it. Yes, I remember that too. Okay, uh, I'm gonna uh, take a. I'm not gonna say a break. I'm just gonna go to this website real quick. Yeah, can you also and... turn this down a little bit more for me? Yeah. Um, is that is that less for you? That's so much more. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, to, that's perfect. What is this? In dream. Um, yeah. Is, this that's is a, this is up on the stream, is it? Uh, no. Hey, real quick. Um, what do you think about that? What do I think about what? That uh, URL. It's a little weird, but it kind of works. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, so you got an access denied? Yeah. Probably because I don't own it. I should go buy it. Do you think it's still on sale? Probably is. And then you can create stuff for me. All right, folks, I'm going to try something a little bonkers right now. Okay. Here we go, folks. This is the website, indreams.me. Actually, I'm going to pull this out. There we go. So I can go through and I can look. Like, here's a Dexter's Laboratory one. This is a 
wonder what these symbols mean. So you mean how some are circles, some of them are... Are you seeing this, by the way? Yes, I'm seeing it. I think one, uh, like, the hexes are objects. Are what? Are, like, 3D object being used. Oh, yeah, used in 3D. Yeah, exactly. But it's kind of weird because it also says played. And then this is a used in. So I wonder if that's a landscape. I wish this was info photos connections. Um, speaking of buying things on the store, which I'm doing right now. Yeah. Uh, where where do I buy this game? Oh, the one I just played has the most. So let's go to the elements with the most thumbs up. Oh, they have this. Okay, so let's uh, see. There's an Xbox Spring Sale right now. It's pretty great. So let's see if there's an easy way for me to quickly get into one of these. Free Star. Actually, I don't. I don't think there is an easy way. That would be cool if there was, but. So I can see, so I can see when people publish stuff, but I can't easily, I don't know. Anyways, Get it in the game. yeah, that would actually be kind of difficult though, now that I think about it. So let's get back to that game. Uh, full screen, here we go. Let's get chat going. Yeah, Klaabu, that's, that's the cool thing is that it's 30 bucks and it's the full game like you're saying. So Will, if you're gonna buy it, you should buy it right now. It's just on the PlayStation Store. And then maybe... Yeah, uh, can I do that on... Can I buy it online or I have to boost yeah, my you can price? Buy it. You can buy it online. I can't find it online. Oh. It's on there. Because I was just oh, thinking... I, I realize it's on the internet. Is this like switching between dreams? Uh, is it... Does this have like a radio tuner mode where it just keeps switching? It is! I don't know if it's programmed into the dream, but it, it really is switching between dreams. Like a dream. That's awesome. Will. What? That's so awesome. I just, you're just sitting in a car. No, that it's switching between the experiences on the fly and then taking you back to ones you've previously done. And at, with your saved progress, like I crossed a bridge and it switched me to a different dream. And then now I'm back to where I was on the bridge. Oh. That's that's such a good design mechanic because it's oh, like a dream. Uh, you know, you're actively switching between spaces and spheres and picking up between where you were. Yeah, so I was thinking you should buy it. I'm not saying you have to, but if you bought it and made some stuff, then we could probably, I could play them next Tuesday on the stream. The stuff that you've made. Yes, 100%. Sorry, I'm trying to find it still. It's on the PlayStation Store. Oh, I wonder if they took it down. Oh no. Oh! Oh, no, I uh, found it. I had to go to a British link and then type in US instead of GB and then it loaded. I have to add a payment method. I guess there. I'll add my PayPal. Klabu says that Media Molecule said they want dreams to be the YouTube of gaming. That's actually a really oh. good description for how it kind of feels is that you go on here f for content, you have people you follow, etc. But you still have... It's like your channel surfing. Uh, it'd be great if I had a... Um, freak me. But... Wouldn't that be great? No, it'd be great if I had a webcam, because you would have seen Karen deliver to me 
a steaming hot plate father went of delicious the Totino pizza. Retrieve the rifle. Yeah, it would be great if you had a camera cam. This is. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wasn't expecting to like this. I I thought I was just gonna be like, oh, this is kind of a cool gimmick. But they've put a lot into how these are presented and displayed and how you navigate between them. Whoa, look at this one! Like, they've actually put a lot into this. A lot of thought into this. Oh, no. So, Ian, I, I don't know if you might have heard that I got a new Pro Controller. Uh, oh, my God. I think I might paint this one. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they're... I heard they're pretty easy to paint or get, like, a... I really want to get take new... Apart. Yeah, like the whole front plate comes off. And like the grips are separate, so you can just kind of really easily paint you it. Uh, spray paint it or uh, brush it? Oh, I'll spray paint it. Yeah. Much easier. Oh, oh, oh. This is hard. Dodge roll, shoot, change controls. Whoa, I popped a menu. Whoa. And then you can change your vertical control. Whoa. Yeah, this is like, but you see what I mean? How it, the, I don't want to say the gimmick, but the main thing about this is that you can create your own experience. But what really sells it is how all of that is presented and tied together through menus and this like, auto surf dream thing where it's popping you between them and yeah. the tutorial experience the home space the the unified um aesthetic you know how everything has like a slightly dreamy brush quality to it even this has like a filter on it yeah and it, but it still looks so different than the other stuff i've been playing yeah but it's not too different so it's not jarring oh this has like a slight auto aim It's curving my shots slightly. It's, also it's really like they hard. all have some sort of uh, dream-like filter. Wow. Uh, actually, it's more like claymation. Uh, yes, uh, Stream Mom, they do have settings to filter. Actually, you know what? This this is fun, but I'm going to drop out. And I'm Clearly, gonna they're not browse. activated because we only want to go to furry games. Oops, let me recenter. Categories and tags. Category game. Actually, no, let's go to story. What's LBTD? I don't know. Tags. Oh, there's a Western. Wow. There's not enough on here yet because they basically only had what? The closed alpha or the closed beta? And then the um, this, which started today. Yeah. So there's not a lot of content on here, which makes sense why they wanted to go early access so that they could build up that content. Yeah. So let's see, this is a community jam. Need a little inspiration? When we need new ideas for the Dreamiverse, we have a jam. We thought you might like to do that too. Every so often, we set a topic we're curious about, and anyone can this make voice a sounds very familiar. That topic. Or you can just play mm. with the current entries and see which ones you like. Oh, you know what's annoying though? So up, this imp we'll is the controlled the by the. the um, Go on. Here, I'll put it on Give the it cam. It's controlled by the. Uh, six axis it's probably not called uh -oh. that anymore but that's what i'm calling it but i'm having an issue right now where i'm holding it perfectly still and he's drifting to the right so i have to constantly recenter it that's annoying yeah i kind of wish they hadn't had this guy for the menus view the winning entries let's see what this one is chinese Whoa. banquet that in the game oh, 
wow. was crazy. Oh yeah, stream on. I saw that the the info on Smash Ultimate and Joker. I saw that there was info dropped, but I didn't actually see what the info was. And then, um, and then like I had to start the stream. Did yeah, they announce I, Persona Five for Switch yet? No, not yet. I think the um, I tweeted that I would play it. I think VR support they said is coming. Okay. Is Persona Five out on Xbox One? No, I think it's PS4 only. Yeah, I want to say it's PS4 only. Yeah, you're right. It's a pretty good game. It's just way too long. I was like two-thirds of the way through it, and I had 60 to 70 hours into it. That's what you were telling me. It's It was good. It just got to the point where it was like, I, I don't want to play this game anymore. There's too much of it. This is pretty intense. Yeah. I'm just kind of looking at these. Okay, I think it's time for me to uh, get serious about this game. I think you know what that means. Yeah, I, I, I did think it was the Sony stuff. Um, I do hope it's a Switch. Oh, well, I'll totally buy it. Even though I just bought a bunch of new games on the Xbox sale. Um, this is dream shaping. So there's that. God, this is really annoying me. Anything you can imagine. This imp, Anything. my selector, keeps shifting to the right Music, without me story, moving. A piece of art, a whole game, I'm sorry. Even something there isn't a word for yet. I think it's better now. Create things from scratch. Okay, I can make a game. Let's see. Or you can use them to remix something another dreamer has made. Here's Ian's first game, everybody. For now, Here we I'll go. To the dreams workshop. Here we go. I feel like I'm not going to create anything in this game. It's going to be too frustrating with all these controls. I think you have to go through a lot of tutorial stuff. Ugh. Go on in. He won't bite. Promise. No, I don't want to do that. Remix or make... F I have to complete the start dreaming one. Okay, all right, let's do this. I did see let's those uh, PS5 details, Klaboo. Uh, well, what did you think about those PS5 details? You see them? The no, I did not see them. Hit me with the hit me with the gas. Um, headlights. It's going to be using AMD both for the CPU and the um, uh, GPU. Uh, seven nanometer. I believe the unconfirmed rumor is that it's going to have 16 gigs of DDR6 RAM. So basically, pretty beefy. Pretty beefy. Um, but the big thing was hard drive. Cerny said the hard drive was going to be the focus for their console in the way. And they're using, I believe the quote from Cerny was an SSD that is multiple times faster than anything available on the commercial market right now. Jeez. So even faster than an NVMe. And the examples he showed was um, Spider-Man. No well, I guess it's just called Spider-Man. <laughs> the the Spider-Man game for the PS4, running this on running on um, a de PS5 Which dev kit, um, next to Spider-Man running on a PS4, and the PS4 load time was like 15 or 18 seconds, and it was half a second on the PS5. It was just, jeez. Yeah, it's like it's like an NVMe SSD on steroids is the the rough way to describe it. I did see Jason Trier saying 2020 is probably when it's coming out. Yeah, he said not this year. Cerny said not this year. So everybody's like, yeah, probably 2020. Um, the other one was it will support the current PSVR headset. It will absolutely have um, backwards compatibility with PS4. And uh, yes, Stream Mom, that's right, ray tracing. So it will support ray tracing. And they said 8K graphics. But they didn't say whether that 8K would be in gaming or only in, you know, 8K streaming content, etc. I'm going to show you how to move around the scene. I'm not really paying attention to this. So it's L1. Welcome to edit mode. 
You can see is that that just like a YouTube video the playing in the corner? Mode icon is in the top left of the screen. If you ever need to remind yourself of the controls, oh select that icon with the X button. And select it again to hide the controls. You can also see the assembly menu at the these top of the screen. Goobers. That's where you'll find all the tools and modes you need to construct your scene. Animate modes. Code the assembly mode. menu is open Tinted. and closed by pressing the square button. You won't need it just yet, so go ahead and close yeah, it with Yeah, let me square. just, uh, yep, yep, let me just go over to this button. First, I'm gonna show you how to move around in Yeah, Klaabu, I think you're right. It's gonna have to be $500. To give you There's... To do, I've they try and bring that out at 400 They're gonna be losing more than usual tutorials. on the, uh on the hardware sales because you know normally they take a hit on the hardware especially at the beginning of a console cycle to try and make up that money on software sales and accessories etc but they're gonna have to price it at 500 and i don't know about that what about you will ps5 day one uh no not at all yeah i don't play playstation at all really i think I was thinking about it today. I think I would only consider it if it was at a good price point, like 400 bucks, and if it really offered a huge, a huge upgrade from the current PS4 in terms of, like I, I, we mentioned this I think last stream where I, I haven't played Bloodborne yet because I'm not really into those games. But the other thing is that I heard that frame drops are just really bad. Like certain areas, it drops to 15 frames per second. Yeah, I only got a PS4 for, like, exclusives. Yeah. So I played Uncharted 4, uh, God of War, Bloodborne. But, um, but if, they, if they can promise PS5 day one runs Bloodborne at 4K 60fps or greater, then it's one of those things where it's like, okay, I, I buy the PS5 now for, 500, for $400. But at the same time, I can buy this $10 game that I haven't played yet, and it runs phenomenally in 4K okay. with ray tracing. Yeah. Then it's just like, okay, so basically I'm buying a machine that's brand new, but it's going to run all these old games that I've been planning to play anyways phenomenally well. Then I would consider it. Yeah. 14, 14 teraflops? Klabu says 14 teraflops for the GPU? Bobby, Jesus. Uh, what a teraflop is. Uh, it said floating point operations per second. Yeah. So it's 14 tera floating point operations per second. Yeah. Jeez, that's crazy. Yeah, stream mom. They said 8K, but I, I think I think the quote it wasn't even a quote. It was just Wall Street Journal saying the game will support 8K graphics, which makes me think it doesn't explicitly mean 8K games. It could just mean 8K Blu-rays, etc. So we'll have to see how that actually pans out. You know, like how they say the PS4 Pro plays games at 4K, but it doesn't. It does, um, is it interstitial? Is that what they call it? No idea. You know where it's not actually rendering at 4K, it does checkerboard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whereas, uh, you know, the, the Xbox One X does full 4K. I really, uh, I, it is spinning me in circles trying to buy this game. Who I wonder if it's... <gasps> <clears throat> I can purchase it, I can get to payment, and then it is having me verify This my... is weird. You seen this? It's having me verify my PayPal, and then it just keeps redoing it over and over again. I had to, um, so I tried to buy it this morning with my credit card, and it was like, my credit card was saved, and it was like, hey, put in your security code for your credit card. So I put in my security code for my credit card and it was like, nope, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> that's not right. So then I, I pulled out my credit card and I looked at it, it was correct. And so I had to go in to my account 
edit that credit card. When I got in there, it didn't even have the security code in there. So I just put the correct security code in and then I went back to purchase and uh, I used the security code I just put in there. So it was one of those things where if I got into that account illegitimately, all I had to do was just go to edit payment, add a three digit number and then put that three digit number in in the payment. It was the stupidest security thing I've ever seen. Well, that's not true, but it was pretty bad. Yeah, that's that's what I was going to say, Stream Mom. This game is, it's basically like Sonic Marble, where if you just play Sonic and he's always rolled up in a ball. <laughs> this is weird. Oh man, you know what? I don't think I'm going to get up there. Oh yeah, and they have little balloons on sticks. You know what? Thumbs up for you. Um, okay, let's go back. Let's see. Look. Oh, okay, wait. I've got two. Gunblood Western Shootout. Okay, let's see how this goes. Gunblood? Yeah, Will, I think if you get this game and start making stuff, I'll play it for you. Point your guns in the air. Yeah, I'll, I'll build stuff. You just watch me. Come on. Oh, my gun's in the air. I right, I just I just want to I just want you guys to see this. Oh boy. Oh boy. <gasps> what? All right, I'm gonna play this again. Okay, so I'm going to recalibrate my controller. Now I'm going to point straight up in the air. There's the hold. <gasps> but he's not even... Like... What? Are you watching this? Like... Okay, go yeah. on. I guess maybe I don't have to drop it. I just press R2. Okay, Whoa. I'm gonna try it one more time. So what's happening is I go up in the air. I don't think, to be clear, but then Ooh. I can't drop it faster. It's, man. See, that's the thing. I think this, this game's great, but I think it's relying a little bit too much on the six axis, which is not good. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having immense amounts of problems trying to purchase this. Maybe don't purchase it on stream, you goober. Yeah, but I wanted to do it really fast. Okay, well, just don't look because I'm playing Metal Gear Solid over here. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Wow, oh. this is literally Metal Gear Solid. Press X to switch between standing and prone. <gasps> Don't you love it when you get a password the first time? No. Oh. I feel like this is Metal Gear music, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe um, not. I never remember what Metal Gear music sounds like. Oh. <laughs> Wait. This <laughs> little running animation. <laughs> I just realized one of those like artist figure things uh -huh. that they like they paint. Yeah. They put what do they position them so they can paint? Or oh, well, it's it's so they it's like a model so they can see what the human form looks like. How am I supposed to get past this? I feel like this is broken. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Clabu says the VR missions is essentially what these are from yeah. Metal Gear Solid. Definitely. I um oh. I need oh, to beat my level of four still. 
When I have a couple days off, I'll do that. Uh. Huh. God, this is this is Metal Gear Solid. You know how I know? Cause it's intense. <laughs> Cause it's real. No. Uh. Oh, okay. Let me just. Oh, it doesn't let you kill yourself. Mom says, "Can we agree? The Dreams is just better, a better little big planet online, but also capable of 3D games. Because I'm 100% okay with that. Yes, me too. Yes, yeah. Hey, I, can I we agree. play Car Drift? Yes, 100%. -o. Accelerate, brake, shift up, shift down, handbrake. Okay. First things first. Interior lights off, front lights on, back um, lights off." I gotta change my camera view. So oh, you're doing pretty good. So you can see oh, me you properly drifting. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. oh 91. Ah, uh, this this is like it looks like cardboard, which is awesome. You want some awesome video game news? I I found out today. What's that? The patent on the arrow in racing games that points to where you need to go, like uh, you know, like the GPS arrow, uh, expired yeah. today. Is that real? Yeah, it's from Crazy Taxi. I thought you couldn't patent stuff like that. Apparently, patent game you mechanics. Can. No, you can patent some game mechanics, like um, games oh. in loading screens, is a patent held by. Uh, Bandai Namco. <gasps> Have a car dealer garage. Yeah, man, I'm getting that one. Got it. Okay. Customize color. Oh, I guess I can't get in there yet. Okay. Performance. Uh, $100 per upgrade. Definitely want acceleration. Oh, you know what? Dude, I would totally play this game. Like, it's just a... You're just Bro. drifting. And you get money for your drifts. Whoa. Oh. Would you do that in real life? Drift? Someone offered you money to drift? Depends on the car. If it's my own car, I probably wouldn't. Because <laughs> drifting just... Man, that destroys your, your clutch. It destroys your handbrake. It destroys your... Uh, tires Ooh, that was a rough corner hit um but it says the negative speed you're going you're reversing i've done a little bit um on accident and semi-intentional in my cars before it's kind of fun drifting it seems like it would be fun it's like yeah it's definitely like controlled you're deliberately losing control but at the same time maintaining control you're like letting it get loose and then and then controlling it while it's loose. It's awesome. Whoop. I love to control it while it's loose. You know what? That's a big old thumbs up. Let me recenter that. Thumbs up there. Maybe something's wrong with the controller. I I don't think it is because it was working when I first started Dreams about an hour ago. Oh gotcha. Weird. I think is it better now? Yeah, see, now it's fine. Or no, wait, no, now it's drifting left. Very slightly. I'm pretty pretty sure it's just because it's not... You know, it's just not that... The six-axis is not that good. Right. What's a rake? Okay, Ooh, we'll Beyblades. The rake. What could go wrong? IQ points lost. Oh. <gasps> Oh. Oh. oh, but it doesn't even move. Uh, what would it say when it hit you? Oof. <gasps> oh, it is moving. Uh, what do you have to do? Just this. What happens if you exit? <clears throat> <laughs> That's a That's thumbs awesome. up. Oh, that's a Ian, the up. giver of thumbs up. Okay, 
battle tops. Definitely battle tops. Oh god, yeah, this is fun. I'm glad I paid 30 bucks. I'd be a little upset if I paid 60 bucks for this. I hear you. Okay, here we go. Battle. I think I'm lower left. Oh, I'm, I'm the dark blue. Oh, oh you... You died. I died. What determines... This isn't... I've, I've played actual battle tops from like a 70s board game set. And it's a lot of like... It's basically... You spin them up and then you just let them go. So it's like half of it is spin and half of it is their angle. Yeah. Yeah, them. I know in, in reality what it's like. Oh, so I'm pressing... I'm hammering X to spin. Oh, that guy went flying. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on oh, in. Uh, oh, the debris is affecting me as well. You got this. Oh, I'm oh, almost dead. On. Go, go, go. Get him. <sighs> oh, he's almost dead. Yeah. Yeah. I'm to you, bud. Thanks, buddy. Let's see what else we got in here. See, it's like, just let me hit the D-pad to navigate this. I don't want to have to reset my view and then go back. Yeah, that is a little rough. I don't oh, like yeah. that. I guess I could just Demon's Penance Teaser. Ooh, Haunted Mansion, Haunted Mansion, Haunted Mansion. Oh, no. Purple Pants Surprise the next one. We have to do that one. Purple Pants Surprise? Yeah. Thanos' is Pants. Ooh. <gasps> Why do I look so weird? Oh, That's look literally you. Mom's loving this stream. That's how I walk. Ugh. Do you have to poop? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Your legs are just moving up your butt. They're not moving your butt. I know. Hey, speaking of butts, uh, Gunplus real cool. We should, we should do that for a stream. Maybe in like two weeks. I'm down. It's uh, it's a very time consuming. My first kit took me like five or six hours total <laughs> because I'm like paying attention to the details. But uh, was it snapped together? It is snapped together, but you've got to cut it from the runners, carefully sand it down, then snap it together. Gotcha. So I'm like trying to sand each piece so that you can't tell it was connected to a runner. And then I got markers to panel line it with. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was funny you linked those markers. I, I have a set of them. So I use them. They're the recommended markers for this these paper models I build. Oh yeah, uh, they're pretty. Um, they're pretty nice. Yeah, they're cool. What is that? Oh, press square. Yeah, I haven't I, I haven't done a snap together model in a while. They're pretty easy. Um, I yeah. probably could have I probably could have done it in like an hour, hour and a half, if I didn't care about sanding or anything, I could have just cut it and snapped it. Yeah. But I was trying to do it nicely. Okay, Get yep. the greebles off. Um, yeah, I used to do a little model making. I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna kind of get into it, at least with Gunpla, because, so when I do a lot of projects, like DIY projects, um, I end up making a lot of mistakes and stuff because I rush myself or I don't pay attention to the details. So I get like scratch marks and dents and stuff and it doesn't like the measurements aren't quite right. So I feel like if I get good at model making where I have to pay attention to those very, very minute details, you know, like yeah. to sand out a nub, I have to cut it first and then cut it with an exacto knife and then do like 400 grit and then like 1000 grit and then 1500, then 2000, then 4000 grit and then buff it with micro cloth so that it gets that plastic polish so it looks like it was never there like i feel like doing all those little tiny details is going to make all my diy stuff look yeah, a lot better the same like my little uh the like main reason i moved to these paper models i make is a i really like them and yeah i don't have to worry about painting them um but also like they're so tiny so it gives me like an appreciation of like building 
really fine detailed things. What the hell is going on here? I don't know. I was kind of just ignoring it. But it seems to just want to happen. Yeah, I actually really like this. because Somebody had to hand animate this. Oh, oh, yeah. Um. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what is happening? What is happening? It slows down if you're not moving, but then you start moving it again. <laughs> I noticed. Oh my goodness. But the controls are really weird. Oh, he's down there. What does he do? What is going on? <laughs> He just oh looks boy. around and then he squats and his pants turn on and then he turns on. <laughs> He's got nailed. Oh my god. What is this? Oops. This is really weird. Purple pants dream. Oh. Look, have you noticed all these effects? Like this pixelated effect? This I game am has some crazy oh, I tools. Want, I can't wait to try building stuff. Yeah. That maybe that's what we should do for the next stream is um both of us look for weird dreams, and then you build any dreams you'd like, and then we'll come in with, like, a list. And we'll just knock through the list. You know what I mean? Of what's supposed to be good or crazy. Yeah, I'm perfectly okay with that. Good. <laughs> no, oh no. They did such a good job with like the audio editing in this. I love the camera angle. Yeah. And how you just hear his song slowly coming in the background. God, this is good. Oh, dude, you're just. <gasps> oh no. Oh. Purple Pants Surprise, Episode 5? Okay, that's a thumbs up. Well, Ian, was... Well, wait, I want to... I want to... I want to follow... Creation. The creation, but I think I can follow this guy as well. There you go. Well, Will, I think that is probably the best ending we will ever get for any stream. Um, I, what do you, agree. I think I'm not going to ask you what you think of Dream so far, because I think it's pretty, pretty obvious that both of us are finding this a very pleasant surprise. And we're going to have more of this next week. Does that sound good? Uh, you know what? Sure. 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 No, I'm extremely sure. excited. Uh, I hope I can buy it. Yeah. And I think for anybody watching the stream, um, live or watching the replay, comment on the video if you find specific dreams or hear about dreams that you want us to play. Like if you hear that there's a, uh, a recreation of Doom Mission 1 
um, in dreams. Just comment. We'll add it to the list. And next week we'll come back with a list of dreams to play as well as, you know, kind of browse around the top, top ones, top rated, top followed, etc. cetera. Um, yeah. And Stream Mom, I think you're right. If this game gains traction at all, it's going to get a lot of creators on it. And that's just going to make it even better. So I'm I'm happy I, I'm happy I bought into this. Will um, other than struggling with the PlayStation Store, where can people find you and your content? You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. Mm. Wow, the one time you decide not to do a cheesy joke uh, during your plug is also while I'm taking a drink. Thanks. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson, and you can find Subpixel and all the Subpixel content on YouTube under the Subpixel channel. That's probably where you're watching this right now. Um, or if you need to get back to that channel, the easiest way to get there is subpixelfilms.com. Hint, hint, it's just a redirect to the Subpixel YouTube channel. Nice and easy for you. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> it's for your health. Oh, that was a real bad Steve Brule impression. Um, if you want to follow us on social media and hint hint you should because we post about things in advance like this stream we let people know what was it about three o'clock this afternoon that we're going to be playing dreams if you didn't follow us on social media you wouldn't have known uh we're on facebook instagram and twitter under the handle at subpixel team like i said we post about upcoming streams upcoming content we reshare content we enjoy we post teases every now and then of new content what was the tease I did today? Oh, yeah. Capcom announced the Capcom Home Arcade, which is kind of an SNES classic, PlayStation classic type thing. Uh, I'm definitely going to be buying one because it looks awesome. And you know what? Uh, Will, I think we're going to have to make another Scanlines miniseries about it. I'm perfectly fine with you spending almost $250 for it. No, I think it was $80. No, it's like 200 bucks. Putting the stream on hold. <laughs> Putting a stream on hold. At least the Wario 64 thing I said saw said like 230 euros. Capcom Home Arcade is a plug and play arcade stick packed with classic games. Kotaku, HDMI cable, USB power supply, 16 games. It'll go on sale. Well, they didn't even say the price. It's so uh, October 25th. Capcom Storm. Mm. Oh, you can see my page, but other people can't. Jesus! <laughs> Why is it that you. much? Why is it that much? I told you. Why? Wait, that's the Europe store, though. It's shut up. It's still in euros. Why is it two hundred and eighty-seven dollars and forty-nine cents? <laughs> I'm sorry, I ruined this for everyone. Uh... Why? exactly Why? okay just kidding folks we're never gonna play that actually you know what i'm not gonna say it on stream but will what if i just made my own bootleg version out of i'm like, sorry i can't hear you what'd you say what if i make my own bootleg version out of five cent buttons i buy off of aliexpress and a retro buy what if we just bought soldier boys in console <gasps> actually uh <laughs> Um, one second, folks. It's like, oh, oh, Chrome almost crashed there. You know what? Let's let's just bring everybody in here. Let's bring everybody. Hi, in everyone. Here. I Hi, everyone. chat, so I have no idea if they if oh, what they're, they're still saying. in here. They're still in here. I really. Oh, Chrome is. I, I was gonna look up Soldier Boy console, but it ain't happening. Sorry, folks. Uh, Chrome is crashing Oops. on me. I gotta end this before my old PC crashes. Thanks for joining. We'll be back next Tuesday. Bye bye.